Hey amigos, and welcome back to Magic Find. So, the last box that I opened, Crimson Vile, <laughs> I had a lot to say about it, um, for obvious reasons. But today we're gonna have a, a little bit more fun and be a lot less uh, critical of this box because we're doing Kamigawa. Now, as all of you who probably, it's if you're new to Magic and you're just watching these videos just because you like seeing people waste and throw their money away, that's good on you. I mean, that's entertainment, right? That's entertainment at its finest. We see people just, you know, using their money to do whatever. I enjoy it. That's why I do it. But uh, for those of you who don't know, um, there was a card in you could that you can only get in the collector boxes called a, I think it's Hidegetsu Consumes All or Hidegetsu something or other. And uh, they have a version called Neon Inks. And some of these Neon Inks go for like a thousand, two thousand, I think. The cheapest going for like, I think two or one hundred or two hundred dollars. Uh, the odds of getting it are extremely low, like very, 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 very low. So I don't think we're going to get one in this video. But if you see it and you see me freak out, you know that's why, because it's, it's a super weird card. But otherwise, you know, in this set, we're looking for things like uh, Wandering Emperors, uh, the, the Rare Land Cycle, uh, the Dragons. That, that are pretty good, especially in the Showcase versions. Um, you know, there's uh, Tamiyo, there's Tezzeret, all cool, well, cool Planeswalkers, and yeah. So anyways... Without further ado, we're gonna we're just gonna jump right into it. So, oh, also, of course, how could I forget these super super cool looking lands? If you're a big fan of anime style cards, um, this is the set for you because uh, obviously, being Kamigawa, which it's a Japanese themed uh, set, so you got the Japanese style full art lands. You got some showcases you're gonna see here in a second. Here we go. First showcase is the Uprise running. Just look at that Pompadour. <laughs> like, good God, man! Some really cool looking cards. But yeah, so that's our showcase. Here's our full showcase. You know, Hayamazaki, you know, not the craziest hits, but they are showcase cards and we're going to keep track of them. So, uh, you know, Takuchi. Yeah, so if you guys are uh, big, if you guys who ha do know the videos, if you were, if you haven't checked out the standard and newer sets, uh, you know, this has Nijutsu and vehicles. So you got the recommended Mink Buster for our first rare. Put that in a different sound. So we got Rampant Rejuvenator. So we're going to get a commander card in every single pack. Here's our commander card, Rampant Rejuvenator. We have our marches, so marching march of burgundy. Let's probably, I think this is like the least sought after march. The one we do want is march, I think, reckless joy, which is the white march. And so, yeah, so we'll go ahead and let's see how we're gonna do this. We're gonna do the full arts here, biting palm ninja for our full art. Uh, no, this is just a showcase, so we'll just do the showcase rare with the other rares just to keep it in place, I suppose. And then, oh, our first mythic is going to be Kaito Shizuki in the foil etched. Yeah, that's foil etched. So look at that. Fantastic showcase foil etched card. Uh, you know, obviously I would have preferred the Honoring Emperor, but that's still a really good pull. Can't complain about that one. Anyways, moving on to the next pack. We're gonna go a little bit quacker, quacker, quicker. Because again, I don't want to, I don't want to drag on the last week. Last week, last week was almost, I think it was was twenty minutes long, and I don't want it to take that long for these cards. So again, we're gonna move on, get rid of these cards out right here. Nice black uh, full art land, pretty sweet looking. Here we have the Imperial Sujuri. We have three showcase cards, two, three that are rare. No, hold on. So we have the Silver Master and the showcase, and then the showcase foil. Then we have our there's our rare. So our rare. We're gonna have our swift reconfiguration for our commander and our really cool full art lizard blades. And then, ooh, look at this. Great card. We got another one behind them too, but look at this. We have the Boseju who endures in the full art. This is probably, this is this is the most sought after land, a uh, legend, uh, legendary land out of the set. And the full art too. If it, 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 the only thing that'd be better if it was a full art foil, but man, we'll take it. Not bad. And then we have a hitting. <laughs> so this is the card I was talking about. So if this was like, uh, I think yellow, it goes yellow, green, red. Yellow being like the cheapest one, red being the most expensive. So here we have just the normal Hidegutsu or Hidetsugu uh, Devouring, Devouring Chaos is what it's called. So not bad there. So we'll go ahead and just, we'll just throw that in the uh, the other showcase foils there. But yeah, so that's uh, that's that's pretty much the how the set goes. No, it's so I again I've played the cards and they brought the uh, vehicles are definitely a mainstay. Like the, uh, the Reckoning Bank Buster is really good for you know, card draw. You do it three times, you get a pilot token, which allows you to um, 
instead of, you know, uh, I think when you tap it for um, uh, piloting a vehicle, you get, I think instead of plus one, you get plus three to power. So uh, it's really good for obviously getting your max out into battle. So here we go with another uh, red, another red full art lance, really cool looking like the hot springs. I don't know, let's, you know, let's look, let's look at that. So I actually went, when I was in Japan, I actually went to a village look just like this. Pretty sweet looking, never forget that. So we have our Narika, oops, excuse me, Narika Moonscreen Specialist, and another, oh, it's a lot of uh, duplicates, and that's the second time we've seen that. So light pause. Ooh, Yoshimaru, the goodest boy. Yoshimaru, ever faithful for our second mythic of the box, actually. Here we go, so this is what we want. We want the full art March of, uh, I'm sorry, March of Otherworldly Light. Reckless Joy is the red one, which is actually not good at all, actually, either. So you want like you want the March of Otherworld Life, definitely, for sure. So there we have for our full art rare. We have Cloud Steel Kitten for our showcase rare. And then we have Mukutai Silver Rare for our full art, uh, yeah, full art rare vehicle. Um, definitely not one of the more sought after. Actually, that's a full art, right? So we'll put that in the full arts. And yeah, see, this is where our, my piles got ejected, but whatever. So far, not bad. I mean, we got the Beside You. We got the Kaido Shizuki. Um, again, Wandering Emperor would be great any form, really. Um, the, the most expensive one being the Showcase. Wait. Yeah, the Showcase. They have a full art version and they have a Showcase version. So And then the normal version. So we want the... Oops. Hold on. So I'll explain that card that we just saw in a second here. So we have our nice green full art token. And we have our Commons and Uncommons in the Showcase. He's gonna be Blade Master, Coil and Stalker, nothing crazy there. Never is in these first three or four slots. Now we have a farewell in the foil. This is a if you look at the, you know, it's a six drop, but you know, look what it does. You could potentially exile artifact creatures, enchantments, and graveyards. Really great card for a board wipe, especially if you're dealing with people that use graveyards or enchantments. So it's not just creatures, it's everything. So pretty good pull for that. For that uh yeah, I'll just put that in there. Yeah, I'm Sam already losing track of what I'm doing here. All right, we have Weaver of Harmony for our full art. And then Explosive Singularity, um, not the mythic that we want, but we'll take it. And then we, have, oh my God, look at that. This, so this is not the, so that one was the full, that was the showcase. This is the full art uh, foil. I don't think I've ever seen this happen twice in a box. So there's the pot token you create when you max out your bank, or Reckoning Bank Buster. Oh, look at that, holy crap, man, that's amazing. It's a great pull. So we have two besides so that's like, that's like 20 or $30 right there. Just those two cards, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, so, so far, great box. So uh, uh, side note, I actually got these boxes from a good friend of mine. Um, we, we did a, a nice mutual trade and this is part of the deal. So so thank you again, uh, Dan, you know who you are. Uh, so yeah, uh, speaking of which, now that I mentioned now, um, so he opened up a case of Dope Master 2022 as well. And you know what, his box, it's apparently it's not guaranteed to get a textured foil in every case. It's really disappointing, unfortunately, but it is what it is, I suppose. I get another another uh, uh, duplication. That's three times in a row, I think. That's crazy. You got an invoked agents in the uh, well, rare and the uh, normal rare. Excuse me. We have a Kosai Penitent Ward for our commander. Hit it it consumes all is what I thought it was. So this is our fourth mythic of the box. Turn around, look at the other side. It's pretty sweet. We have Invoke Justice for all of the all of you guys who are play, you do play in. This is a great card. That basically, you you basically thrash uh, a, a big card in your hand. You you discard it, however we want to get daily dispute or whatever. Um, and then you just play this and you bring it back with uh, one, one with four one one card on it. So yeah, it's pretty brutal. So that's a showcase rare. Uh, I'll put that right there. And then we have uh, Kyodai Soul of Kamigawa. Nothing crazy there. So, but again, it goes in the floor. So, yeah, cool them up pretty nicely. Um, God, these packs. Same as the, same as the, uh, the that joke. Okay. Same as the, because they, they, they decided to, to use new packing material for this. So, yeah, I like, um, hard. I, they went back to the old ones for the Dome Master. Come on, come on, come on. Where is it? There it is. For the, uh, look at that plains, the rice fields, the rice patties, excuse me. All right, so moving on to the one, two, Guardians of Oboro. Let's see if we get another Gucci. Yeah, we do. Yep, this box is a serious duplication problem. So if you want a regular card and a 
a foil or a showcase and then a full showcase of the same exact card. Go figure. Lion Sash, not a bad pull. Uh, Ascendant Acolyte for our commander. Uh, Timmy Reality Architect for our full art. A rare. And then we have Gore Groat, top of Ryusei. Again, not really the greatest rare, but it's there. There it is. And then Kami of Transience for our showcase foil. So yeah, that's also you either showcase foil or full art foil. But yeah, nothing crazy. Nothing nothing too exciting in that pack. Not really, except to further confirm that the duplication in this uh, box, in this collector box. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my last video. Uh, I definitely got a little heated there towards the towards the end just because I was, I mean, you know, it's funny that I actually talked to another friend, a uh, buddy of mine named Z. He actually mentioned that, yeah, when the next cycle comes out for the uh, the standard, like they're actually removing Midnight Hunt, but keeping Crimson Vow, just the way it ends up working out. Not sure really if that's, like, what it's, I mean, obviously it was intentional because they planned it that way, but it's like, I th you, you'd think they would keep those two in the same cycle, but I guess not. So it is what it is. So Moon Circuit Hacker, Moon Circuit. Yeah, see, this is that, I don't remember this actually happening in the boxes of it before. So we have Brilliant Restoration in the uh, in the uh, foil, excuse me. Kappa Cannoneer, this giant turtle with a gianter, bigger gianter cannon in the back. Yeah, ooh, Sokazin. So this is another rare land in the full art. Crucible Defiance. An inventive Iteration. That's definitely not a hit. And then Invoke Despair. So Invoke Despair is definitely... <laughs> Really great for a mono black standard deck. Um, if you read it, you know, uh, point that creature, um, and enchantment and planeswalker, they can't, they lose two life, and you draw a card for each time they did camp. So, let's say your opponent is completely, you just, you just wipe the board and, um, I don't know, using whatever, and then you can play this card next to you have the mana for, and then you immediately gain, you gain six life, or they lose six life, and you draw three cards. So, it's pretty busted if you can get it out early enough. Um, yeah, so I'll run four of those in your deck, and you just pretty much bully the opponent. Because even if they do have cards, if the creatures or champions, they have to discard them. So, say so your opponent has a meat hook master out, you play that, they have, they have to they have to destroy it. Uh, anyways, moving on uh, to the another another nice full patty. So here we go with Stoneblade Samurai, Peerless Samurai. We have our Prosperous Thief, and then guess what? Another Prosperous Thief. Boom, nailed it. <laughs> That's that can't be right. That can't be normal. Um. Anyways, so this is actually a four. So move this in the floor. Actually, it doesn't. I, I, my piles are mess. My piles are mess. Soul transfer. Uh, we have uh, Katsumasa, the animator, for our commander. Veneration again. Fortunately, not the rare we want to see. Ooh, at sushi the blazing sky in the uh, show in the showcase. Yeah, showcase not the full art. So pretty sweet looking. The red dragon. So we pulled. This is actually our first dragon. We haven't pulled any other ones. How about that? And then Eater of Virtue for our showcase foil. All right. So I think we have one, two, three, four packs left. But yeah, overall, I enjoyed opening the set when I when I wasn't recording. I opened up quite a few draft boxes and set boxes. I think I, I think I do have a couple videos on my channel of opening up set boxes for Kamigawa. I don't remember. I don't remember personally because I opened up so many, but I'm pretty sure I think I got one or two, at least one or two. But yeah, here we go. Um, not really. Here we go because these are just the comments and non comments. All right, so here we go with the Moon Sugar Hacker and then Moon Sugar Hacker again. Oh no! We finally broke the broke the cycle of having the duplicates. All right. Anyways, here we go with Kami and Transients for our first rare of the pack. Miosian of Towering Might. The Miosians aren't really worth anything, unfortunately, either. As cool as they look. The reality chip, um, yeah, a couple of dollars, I think, not not too crazy there. And then we have Invoke the Winds, definitely not a hit. All right, here we go. Ooh, ooh, Junji, the Midnight Sky and the full, uh, is this? I think this is Showcase. I think this is the Showcase version of Junji. So yeah, that's a grid pull. It's very beautiful. Very good art. Thank you, Satoru Sinda. Satoru Sans. All right. Um, yeah, we're not doing too bad with the Mythics. Uh, I feel like, unfortunately, we're not, I don't think we're going to get a Wandering Emperor, but we did get the, the Kaito Shizuki in the uh, Full Art Showcase. 
or the foil, the foil showcase, excuse me. So we were like, cool, that cool looking uh, origami blue full art land. Uh, Nazumi Blade Blesser, we're going to have a quick Jukai training. Let's see if we can keep that, not the same things again. So here we go with the Ink Rise Infiltrator. And, and, oh, there it is. All right, so yes, you guys saw that. So there's a little mythic there. Let's see what it is. That is oh, wow, three dragons. We got a, uh, AO the Dawn Sky for our, was that seventh mythic of the boss? We got three of the five dragons. Not bad. AO Severe in the full art with the commander. We have Mokutai Soul Ripper, another full art card. March of Burgeoning Life again, this time in the showcase. And March of Regular Joy, yeah. It's unfortunate that we got that in the uh, last foil slot, guaranteed foil slot. But it is what it is. All right, two packs. Let's see if we can get into another dragon. We're missing Kyrie, and we're missing Kura, which is the green. Excuse me. Sorry, I need to pause there. I just had to think. Kura is the green one. Kyrie is the blue. It's funny. I always think Kyrie because I think of Kingdom Hearts. Those of you who you know, you know. So we got our uh, second version of the white of Far Land. All right, Guardians of Oboro, Reinforced Ronin. We have Mizumi Prowler, and then are we gonna get Mizumi Prowler again? We sure are not, actually. All right, so this isn't the last pack, so let's see what we get in there. Oh, here we go, Fable. So Fable the Mirror is, I see in any card that runs Red and Standard has this card, almost, almost every single, because it's just, you get to, the first the, the first part is you create a 2-2 two -two Red Goblin Shaman that attacks, you create treasure, you get to, you know, fix your hand if you need to discard two cards. And then finally you get to exile and then create a creature that they can copy another creature, any creature. So like if you have a Titan of Industry or let's say you have, um, I don't know, Atsushi, for instance, like, of, uh, of the Reds. So basically when he dies, it can, it, it can either create uh, church tokens or it can be pulled back to the battlefield. Um, I, th I think that works. No, it doesn't work if you pull a card that's just a token, but you can, I think, create three treasure tokens if it dies. So yeah, pretty sweet. Um, I you know I think after all this, I think I am gonna start playing Arena again and start streaming on YouTube and just posting videos for like I'll play for like an hour, not too long. If you guys want to watch and just see, because I'll I don't even remember what decks I have. I have to look and see what kind of decks I even have. Oh oh well shoot, there we go. There is our uh, fourth dragon in the full art. This is the uh, just the full art, not the showcase. Kyrie the Swirly Dragon. Look at that. We almost have all the dragons. We just need Kura now. We have one more pack left, so we could potentially get it. And even this pack. The Dragon Kami Reborn. We have and Springleaf Adventure for our last one. So yeah, we're definitely hitting all the dragons. Or almost all of them. Let's see if we can hit the last one. Alright, last pack of the video. Thanks again, everybody watching. Uh, like and subscribe, as always. Uh, everything that you guys do for me as far as even comments, I always enjoy reading them. Um, as little as they are, I, I that even I, that kind of makes it easier actually. I feel like being a small YouTuber is great, and that aspect where you can actually respond to everyone making comments, and it feels a bit more personable, you know. Whereas if you're getting, you know, hundreds or thousands of comments in a video, it's like realistically you can't respond to all of them, right? So, not that I'll ever get to that point. I mean, maybe I will, maybe I won't. Probably not, but I'll enjoy the time I can now with uh, replying as I can. Thank you, because I'm sure. And then, okay, so that again, not a duplicate there. All right, here we go. March of Otherworldly Light in the uh, foil. Good pull. We have, oh, this is just organic extinction. Not just buzzing, this is just the commander card. So we did have, there is a mythic or, that you can pull in the commander slot. We didn't get it, but it's a really, it's probably one of the most sought after cards in the set. All right, we have Hinata, the Dawn Sky. Or Dawn, of, sorry, Dawn Crowned. We have Soul Transfer in the Showcase. And then here we go, come on, let's get something juicy and end this video on. No, no, probably nothing crazy. No, that's a big womp womp right there. But yeah, we got four of the five dragons. Two of those are going to be in the showcase. And then we have, you know, our nice, cool looking... I can't, I can't tell you what the price of this is right now. Um, but I know it's, you know, more than a few dollars, I'm sure. Because um, I actually, I didn't look up the show. I looked up just the normal cards. This card himself is actually like a eight, nine dollar card, just normal version. So the showcase etched, I'm sure, is pretty worth a penny penny. You know, you got the Kairi, you got the Atsushi, you got the um, Ao and Junji. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good buy. I mean, it's not the greatest box in the world because um, we didn't get any Wandering Emperors or we didn't get like the uh, Hidetsugu, like Neon Inks. But again, that, that wasn't going to happen. I was 90% sure it was going to happen. 
But yeah, anyways, uh, those of you who stuck around this long uh, watching the video, um, if you're not watching on two times speed, I appreciate all you guys uh, again watching. And uh, again, look in the description, you'll find my Facebook page. You join up and, ooh, excuse me. Uh, join the Facebook page and then you'll see announcements. And I haven't been making any updates yet just because I've been kind of busy with real life stuff, but pretty soon here I'll be uh, posting Excel sheets. I got uh, lots of stuff to update my binders with, including all these boxes I'm opening. And one last thing, I don't think I'm getting my, uh, unfortunately there's, um, there's some transport issues with the Capenna box, so that probably won't be my next video. But as soon as I get it, I will post a video of me opening it, okay? In the meantime, I do have some other videos lined up that I will be posting after this, so stay tuned. Anyways, again, like and subscribe. Please leave a comment if you like the content, you have some ideas, or just want to poke fun at me. That's fine, too. Anyways, I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and as always, happy finding.